What's up, Fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Vasily Lomachenko. Vasily Lomachenko had some uh, choice words to say about his commandant, his friend, one of his best friends, Alexander Usyk. Alexander Usyk, he had to say about um, him going up to the heavyweight division. He said that it's, it's his decision. It's a real big move. And he said it'll be very interesting if he fights Anthony Joshua. Now, mind you this, okay. Vasily Lomachenko, I read between the lines a lot. And what I got from that interview, because it wasn't a long interview, he basically said that it's a risky thing going up to um, heavyweight division from cruiserweight. You know, like he, because he said, well, that's him and he makes his own decisions. You know, that's another way of saying I wouldn't have made that decision. That's just like Lomachenko going up to 140 and fighting someone at 140 or even 147, you know, as opposed to Usyk going from cruiserweight going all the way up to heavyweight. You know, and when that, that also lets me know a lot about um, Lomachenko. He does respect the weights. He's very cautious and respectful of weight classes. He understands that weight class is for a reason. That's why he didn't recommend it with Mikey going up to uh, fight Earl Spence because he thought mm, there's no way he could win. The size matters. His size is a difference. You know, like um, Michael Ja White said it himself when they asked him, could he beat Bruce Lee? He said size matters. You know, and he's absolutely right in that aspect because you got a guy, regardless of the, the skill set, you, this guy's a lot smaller than you. You know, so, you know, if, if I can counterpunch Vasily Lomachenko's thoughts, that's what he's thinking. He said, oh, it'd be a very interesting fight. You know, I think it'll be very interesting. I think Usyk will have to find something with Joshua. You know, those type of things. And that's what he was saying. And he was saying, like, hey, I wouldn't have done it. You know what I mean? And it's an interesting fight, you know. And that's how I read it, you know, that's, you know, but he didn't really want to say anything bad about his commandant, his best friend, one of his good friends, right? His, his, his national, his national brethren, right? So he left it like he, like that, you know, and, um, and I think that Lomachenko disapproves from the, the jump up, you know, but if anything, if Usyk can do anything, he can in, in, in inspire Lomachenko to move up to the weight class because he's not going to get the fights, guys, that he thinks he wants to get. Bob Aaron won't get that fight. Him and Leonard, uh, Leonard Ellerby don't get along like that. And, look, Heyman is not going to allow Leonard Ellerby to make a fight with Javante Tate Davis and Lomachenko unless Lomachenko gets knocked out somewhere. Now, if he gets knocked out, maybe a fight like that gets made because then they're banking on their power to put him out just like someone surprised him and knocked him out. So, no, that won't happen. So Lomachenko himself needs to be inspired by what, what uh, Usyk is doing, you know, from going to cruise and cruiserweight, giving up all those belts after defending all those belts and moving up to heavyweight and doing what he's doing now. So, um, but, of course, he wished his, his countryman luck, but I think that he meant in so many ways he didn't approve of Usyk's um, move to heavyweight. But anyway, that's my counterpunch on that. You guys tell me what you think. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys can counterpunch. Peace.